Rachel Tabo is trying to make a mint one cookie at a time. I'm determined to, to keep my business going, to continue to grow through this. The mother of two isn't waiting to see what the government will do for her. No end to keep the pressure on. She's pouring her heart into her bakery business, Tribeca Treats, joining a growing movement of female entrepreneurs who have a recipe for turning the economy around. Women now are saying themselves that I'm part of the solution here. Thousands have signed up for the online Make Mine a Million race. Nell Merlino came up with the idea of a national challenge, giving female business owners tools, coaching, and support to try to make a million this year. That's an excellent price point. Helping women to grow our shrinking economy. We're going to wait for what? You know, people need jobs now. People need products now. There are more than 10 million women-owned businesses in the U.S. like Rachel's, but a majority of them make less than $50,000 a year. So the contest hopes to jumpstart those businesses and in the process create 800,000 new jobs. This year we're probably going to be a million dollar business. Robin Wilson has a head start in the race. There are no pesticides. Her eco-friendly design business, Robin Wilson Home, more than doubled its sales last year as the recession took hold. What the race gives me is the confidence, the collaboration, and also the tools to be a success. Wilson and her sisters in business are learning the ingredients for achieving sweet success. So these mini cupcakes. Even when the chips are down. Karen Brown, CBS News, New York.